Chort was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A Chort? Fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open, see if there's anything else out there. Cheers, then, Witcher. Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care. Welcome to another Witcher lore video. So I was considering what video to make today when I realized that it's actually been a fair amount of time since I last made a video on one of the monsters in the Witch universe. So, after seeing this suggestion by these users, I've decided to make today's video on Chorts. Anyway, to answer the question in the title, a Chort is at a basic level a relict monster that appears in the Witch universe. Its appearance resembles that of a small fiend, except it has a few obvious differences in appearance, for example its horns are generally smaller and a bit bulkier, and Chorts, like fiends, also possess a third eye, but unlike fiends, the Chort's third eye seems to have no other use other than simply seeing. Perhaps it may be because fiends are more intelligent so can utilize the eye, or it may simply be because the Chort's third eye does not possess any magical abilities. Chorts also walk on all fours and have significantly less hair than fiends. They are generally found in dense, ancient woods. For example, you have the Chort Howler that had made its home in the forest in Velen when it came across a fiend. It then began fighting for territory with this fiend, but we'll get into that later in the video. And I've already said some of the similarities between Chorts and Fiends, but it's thought that Chorts and Fiends are actually related in the Witch universe. And Chorts, like Fiends, are also thought to be related to Bumbukovetches. Chorts are very strong, and among the class of Relict, their strength is only rivaled by that of their larger kin, the Fiends. Whilst going after their prey, or fighting, Chorts use this great strength to their advantage, by using their arms to claw and crush their opponents. They are also able to charge at great speeds, catching their opponents off guard, but the downside of this ability is that Chorts are unable to control themselves at such speeds and can end up missing their opponents entirely, but should they make contact, it can cause devastating damage to their opponents. Chorts also possess a regenerative power, which allows their bodies to be healed from almost any wound at a quick pace, and if you ever come into contact with one of these creatures, the best course of action would be to attack them from the side, as a face on fight with these creatures is not an option, just due to how strong they are. It is also a good idea to wait for them to charge and then roll out of the way. This way, the Chort will most likely charge into something else and briefly stun itself, and that will allow you to get a few hits in. Another tactic is to use the Devil's Puffball Bomb to poison the Chort, as the toxic fumes of this bomb are quite effective. You could also use Igni, as although Chort's not a special especially weak to fire, if the Chort actually catches fire and begins to burn, it will take a lot of damage. If you can defeat one of these creatures in The Witcher 3, they can drop up to three items. These items being Chort Hide, Raw Meat, and a Chort Mutagen. Interestingly enough, the Chort Hide can actually not be used for anything other than dismantling to get monster hair and monster hide, so you can't actually use it to craft anything. And the Chort Mutagen acts exactly the same as a lesser blue mutagen, but it has the added effect of being able to be used to make Chort decoctions. Anyway, onto how these monsters communicate. Chorts communicate by using grunts, snorts, and moans, as they're not exactly the most intelligent monsters, or at least in comparison to, say, a sylvan or a higher vampire, but interestingly enough, a lot of legends actually mistake Chorts for sylvans, most likely because both possess two horns, although I'm sure most of you know sylvans and Chorts are very different. There are two notable Chorts in The Witcher 3. The first is a Chort known as Howler. This Chort can be encountered on the Witcher contract, Mysterious Tracks. This is a contract in which Geralt of Rivia discovers that a Chort near the village of Lindendale was competing with fellow monsters and animals for hunting territory. Geralt discovered that the Chort had not only torn apart a pack of wolves, but also managed to attack and kill a fiend. Geralt then had a fight with the Chort known as Howler. Unluckily for the Chort, it had been weakened by its previous fights and fell under the Witcher's sword with ease. The next notable Chort is a Chort that was added in the Witcher 3 1.05 patch. The reason for this is that in the Witcher 3 base game, there was an exploit that after killing six cows in a village near White Orchard, you could gather their hides and then sell them. Then if the player meditated, the cows would reappear, allowing the player to then repeat the process, eventually earning a large amount of crowns. So, as of patch 1.05, 
If the player kills all six cows in the village, a level 27 chort appears. If the player manages to kill this chort, another appears, and then this process continues. Funnily enough, this in itself became a problem, as higher level players were now able to farm these chorts, as their hide was worth much more than a cow's hide. So, eventually, it was changed so only one chort would spawn. This exploit actually inspired the Gwent card Cow, which after being removed from the battlefield, spawns the Bovine Defense Force, which is a chort. As for a lore reason as to why these chorts appear, you could just say that there is a large concentration of chorts in the area, and they come out of wherever they're hiding after the cows are killed and then their fellow chorts are killed. There is another chort in the Witcher, although it's not particularly notable. This chort can be found whilst doing the Berengar Blade quest. It is just a simple chort located downriver in the valley near Kaer Morhen. Anyway guys, to end today's video, I'm going to read a bit of trivia and then the journal entry of this monster. As for the trivia, in the real world, a chort is a demon that is quite famous in Slavic folklore. It is effectively a pagan devil. Now for the bestiary entry, chorts are smaller than fiends, true, but still big enough to kill. Agnes Thistle, herbalist from the Black Forest. Chorts are the somewhat smaller kin of fiends, and Bumbakovetches. Yet any witcher who thinks their diminutive stature means they present no danger commits a grave error, the kind that can end his career permanently. These denizens of dark and ancient woods are some of the most dangerous monsters known to man. Legends often mistake chorts for sylvans, ascribing to them the ability to speak, stand on two legs, gobble up cabbage, play pranks, and work mischief around the household. The arrival of a true chore in a region soon puts an end to such tales. The creatures do not speak, at best communicating with each other through grunts, snorts, and moans. They get about on four legs, and as for their mischief, they destroy farmsteads, devouring anything that can be devoured, including cabbage, if such is available, but also extending to poultry, pork, the family dog, and then the family itself. Chorts fight with little finesse, running straight towards their opponent and trying to knock him to the ground with the force of their charge. After downing their foe, they bite, kick, and strike with their claw-shaped paws. Due to their size and four-legged posture, they are mostly unperturbed by the force of the Ard sign, and the regenerative power of their body allow any wounds they receive to heal at a rapid pace. Anyway guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. This has been quite a fun one to make. I think Chorts are an interesting creature in the Witch universe. Honestly, we don't meet that many. They seem fairly rare, but I'd say they're still less intimidating than a fiend, although they are really strong. As always guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it. It really does help out the channel and it's very kind to do. These videos take me a long time to make and the like button does really help. So thank you to every single one of you that likes the video. I really appreciate it. Also, if this is the first video you're finding on my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do Witcher lore videos every few days. I've started my Witcher 3 playthrough recently, so be sure to watch that. You can get that every week. I'm currently doing a Red Dead playthrough. I'll also be doing some Witcher Netflix news when stuff comes out that I want to make a video on, so be sure to subscribe for all that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I put stuff on there whenever anything interesting is happening with the channel, or say if there's news about the videos, or the Witcher Netflix, or just stuff to do with the Witcher, or other series I like. I also put pictures on there when I just want to show you guys stuff. So if you don't want to miss any of the polls I do on there, any of the information I share with you guys, I'd recommend going and following me on Twitter. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'll get back to streaming soon. I actually did a stream the other day of just some random stuff. I played a little bit of Thronebreaker. If you guys want to make sure you don't miss those streams, be sure to follow me on there. It's fairly random at the moment, but if you follow me on there, you'll get the notification for when I do go live. So thank you all for following me on Twitch. Also, be sure to join the Discord and Reddit. Everything I talk about in this outro is down in the description, so if you want to follow me on anything or join the Reddit or Discord, be sure to check down the description for the links. Just for one final quick announcement guys, I just wanted to say that my Red Dead Redemption playthrough will now come out on Sundays. So for those of you that are wondering when part 2 of that playthrough will come out, the playthrough will now start coming out on Sundays. So I hope you'll all go and watch that. Finally guys, as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. Thank you so much for donating to me on Patreon. It's very, very calm what you do. You help me make these videos. You help me pay for my software and other things. So thank you all so much for donating to me on Patreon. I'm glad to put all of your names at the end of these videos. Anyway guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.